Hey, 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 shalom, shalom. So this video is mainly for the children. Well, not just for the children, but, you know, if you have kids in the house um, and they like to, to get little treats, you know, they like to eat junk, <laughs> this is for them, okay? <clears throat> and what you're looking at here is some tamarind, T-A-M-A-R-I-N-D, tamarind. I grew up on this stuff. Um, I remember we had a huge tamarind tree right around the back of the house when I was growing up. And boy, oh boy, I mean, we used to kill this uh, when, when it comes in season. <clears throat> so this is, this is a very, very, very healthy um, fruit. I don't know if some people call it fruit. I call it fruit. Uh, but this is very healthy. And I remember... You know, back in the days, uh, how my grandmother used to tell us that this is just, you know, we should always eat this because it's healthy. She didn't really have to tell us this because we, we loved it. We just wanted to eat it all the time. But um, a lot of the time, this can be sour. Um, depending on where you are and what type of tamarind tree you got in your backyard, um, this can be sour at times. And the way that um, they would get us to eat, the really sour tamarind is that they would make it into a ball just like what you're looking at here this is these are tamarind balls okay and I'm gonna tell you guys how I make this um, these in a, in a second so those are tamarind ball and the only way they would they would get us to eat this back in the days is to make make the tamarind into a tamarind ball because it was so sour and we were having a hard time just eating the, the tamarind you know just the, the fruit itself so um and my family used to own a grocery store so we would make the tamarind ball and sell it in our in our store and that was fun um so you only need two ingredients to make these tamarind ball you need your tamarind and what you do is you take this to remove the shell as these are shell just going to remove the shell i started to remove some of it and then you're going to break them up in pieces and over here is a little bit of brown sugar. See, that's your brown sugar right there. And that's all you need to make a tamarind ball. Some tamarind and a little bit of brown sugar, right? And what you're going to do is you're going to mix your tamarind with your brown sugar. Now, this is when you're going to get your hands dirty because this requires... The reason I'm, I can't, I'm not able to demonstrate for you guys is because you need both hands to make these balls and... I gotta hold the camera because I don't have anybody to hold my camera for me so I'm gonna try and explain it the best way I can it's very simple you're going to remove the shell from your tamarind break them up into small pieces and just add it to your sugar and roll it up into the palm of both hands just roll them into little balls that's it that's all you need and that's how they used to get us to eat this tamarind because it, it i mean some of these tamarind can be so sour now let me say this to you guys right the reason my grandmother and my mom and you know the, the elder woman in my family the reason they didn't have a problem with us eating you know because when you add the sugar to this it, i mean it's sugar you know they didn't have a problem with us eating these things because we get regular flushes on a regular basis back in the days. I mean, I still do my flushes, but I'm just saying as a, as a kid, we got, we got away with eating these stuff because they made sure that we, 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 we get our flushes on a regular basis. You see what I'm saying? So if, if, if you're going to give your kids junk and sweets, you have to make sure your kids are, are getting flushes. Flushing out their system, flushing out the digestive system, keeping it healthy, flush out the colon. Adults are not the only one that do flushes. Your kids need to stay healthy too. So your children need to do flushes as well. So there's nothing wrong with a little, and it's called balance, people, balance. There's absolutely nothing wrong with a little bit of treat every now and then. But you, you have to make sure you're, you're keeping up with doing your flushes. So, you know, kids are kids. Kids are going to need, you know, they're going to ask for sugary stuff. That's just the, what it is. But if you're going to give them sweet, sugary stuff, give them something that's a little healthier than 
the garbage that's sitting in the store. Cause this, you're making this from scratch. There's no preservatives in there and you know what's in there. It's two ingredients, just some tamarind and a little bit of brown sugar. That's it. And, and they're going to love it. It's like, um, what do you call that? That's that sour patch candy. You know, kids, kids eat those things. I mean, those things are sour, but they add sugar to that. So the kids are able to eat it. So this is kind of the idea, you know, but now the difference between those candies and this right here, this is a homemade candy. This right here is a homemade candy. This has a lot of health benefit. And let me just say before I go any further, this is a natural laxative. Okay. Just so y'all know, this is, this right here is a natural laxative. You eat too much of this and you'll be going to the bathroom. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. So this is a natural laxative guys, but this has a lot of health benefits. This is good for inflammation. This keeps the blood moving. So if you, especially if you're somebody who suffer from, um, arthritis or r rheumatism, um, this is good to keep the blood flowing. It's, it's, it's good for inflammation in the body. Okay. This is also good if you have sore throat. <clears throat> All right. And this helps to aid in digest. If you're having digestive issue, this is good for the digestive, uh, digestive tract. Okay. This has a lot of powerful antioxidant. This right here it has a lot of health benefit guys. This has a lot of iron, a lot of magnesium. Okay. A lot of vitamin C and copper. So many healing properties in this, but like I said, you know, if, if you or your kids or grandma or anybody in your family is having a little issues with constipation, you know, you might want to throw them a little bit of, um, <laughs> a little bit of tamarind. All right. Yes. This does help you to go to the bathroom. So, <clears throat> and this is also good for diabetes. Let me say that not with the sugar, not with the sugar, not with the sugar. If you, cause you know, this is very sour, you know, if you have diabetes or uh, high cholesterol, this is also good for somebody with high cholesterol, just so you know. Um, but you don't want to do, eat the, the tamarind ball. Okay. You just want to eat the tamarind by itself. D don't mix it with the sugar. If you are suffering from diabetes or if you have high cholesterol, this, this is good. Okay. Um, yeah. If you're suffering from stuff like that. So, um, I, like I said, I wish I had somebody to hold this camera for me so I can demonstrate how I made this, but this is so simple. Um, you just break up your tamarind, um, add some sugar in it. Now, if you have some sweet tamarind, cause there's different type of tamarind. You have the sweet one and you have the sour one. You don't have to add sugar to your sweet tamarind cause they're already sweet. Okay. We're, we just do this for the kids because kids hate um, sour stuff. They don't like to eat sour or bitter stuff. So, you know, add a little sugar and you get them to eat it. But, um, yeah. So if you, if your tamarind is sweet, you don't ha you don't need any sugar. You don't need to do this. We usually do this with the sour tamarind, um, just to get the kids to eat it. Um, but as I said, also your children should be doing flushes. All right. This is a nice little treat for the kids but they should also be doing flushes as well on a regular basis. Your kids should be doing a flush at least every six to eight weeks guys. Okay. Especially if they're not eating healthy. Okay. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom.